started uh, doing a Bachelor of Arts and then Masters in Social Science alongside a diploma in community psychology at the University of Waikato. And then I went to work for government to find out how it works and worked as a policy analyst and realised that I needed to come back to university and get a PhD, which I did in behavioural science. At the Centre for Tobacco Control Research, uh, I've been designing interventions to help people stop smoking. And I got an app, uh, an iPad somewhere along the way. I got an iPad somewhere along the way and I really love iPads. I, I love what they can do. They're so intuitive. I thought we need to be in this space, both with interventions aimed at Māori to help with Māori health, improving Māori health, but also to help people stop smoking. So I started designing uh, in my head um, apps for iPad and, and that led to Weddle apps. I put Weddle apps into the Spark Challenge a couple of years ago and I learned a lot about commercialising research ideas and it's kind of difficult to do that within a university structure and I'm still within the university structure but I'm, I'm keen to apply a lot of the learnings from the workshops and everything that I did with Spark. The university has this gateway process whereby you can you can have a spin-off business come out of research that's done within the university. So I would really like to see uh, Weddle apps develop to the point where we can perhaps do that and, and take it out into its own standalone business rather than just being another project. Although I have been very successful with Weddle apps and we've just won a $3.8 million Ministry of Health contract to roll one of our interventions out nationally, a group stop smoking competition. Within that we use the iPad app. Uh, we've developed it now for iPhone as well and we now have two apps and a game. Mm -hmm.